Hello, good morning everyone. I'm here to give this week's children's talk. Now, if you remember from my last talk a couple of months ago, there were two significant things that happened. Firstly, I managed to break Lola's stick. Secondly, those shards of wood ended up hitting James. Well, I'm pleased to say that because of social distancing, your chances of being injured today are significantly reduced, which is good news. Right, let's make a start. But before we do that, let's just revisit the questions from the last two weeks, because they're all connected. So two weeks ago, Ray asked us this question. In what condition did God make Adam and Eve? Do you remember that answer? Yes, that's right. He made them holy and happy. And then last week, Nigel gave us the next question, which was, did Adam and Eve stay holy and happy? Do you remember the answer to that one? The answer was no, they sinned against God. Well, now on to this week's question and answer. The question is, what effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? And the answer is, all mankind is born in a state of sin and misery. Okay, let's repeat that again. What effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? All mankind is born in a state of sin and misery. Wow, that's tough stuff, isn't it? But let's just think about this for a few minutes. See, whenever a baby is born, there's certain pieces of information that everybody wants to know. Are they healthy? Is it a boy or is it a girl? How much do they weigh? What's their name? But the thing that people always want to discuss is, who do they look like? Maybe they've got their mum's eyes, or maybe they've got their dad's nose. Well, one of the things that we've noticed about our own children is that they look like each other. Lola, Willow and Elodie all have similar characteristics. And that's especially true when we compare pictures of them from a similar age. Sometimes I even look at pictures of them and I'm not even sure which child is which. So let's see if you can do better than me. So I'm going to show you some pictures and all you have to do is decide, is it Lola, is it Willow or is it Elodie? Should be simple, right? Okay, let's have a look at that first picture. So who do you think that is? If you say Lola, then you'd be right. Okay, now for the second picture. Who do you think that is? Yes, that's Elodie, well done. And the third picture? Yes, that's Willow, isn't it? How did you do? Did you get them all right? And do you think that they all look similar? Especially Lola and Elodie, they all have similar skin coloring, and similar hair, they just look the same, don't they? So why does this happen? Why do they look similar? Well, it's because of something called genetics. That's a fancy science word, isn't it? It basically means that children get their characteristics from their parents. So because Lucy and I are parents to all three children, they all have similar characteristics. And just like Lola, Willow and Elodie got their characteristics for myself and Lucy, I got my characteristics from my parents and they got theirs from their parents and they got theirs from their parents and it goes on and on and on and it traces all the way back to the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. And that's who we've been hearing about for the past few weeks, isn't it? So last week we learned that Adam and Eve sinned against God and as a result of that, they ceased to be holy and happy. They became sinners, didn't they? Well, that's also one of the characteristics that we get from our parents. So because Adam became a sinner, his children were sinners, and their children were sinners, and their children were sinners, and so on and so on. And as a result, as it comes down the line, my parents were sinners, therefore I'm a sinner, and in fact, all your parents are sinners. And all of us are sinners because we've been born in a state of sin and misery. And that is the result of the effect of Adam's actions. Now, I once heard a very useful phrase, and it's this. I'm not a sinner because I sin, but I sin because I'm a sinner. See, because we've inherited these characteristics of being a sinner, therefore, that's what we do. We naturally want to disobey God because that's the characteristics that we've got. But wait. Wasn't there somebody who was born with a father who hadn't sinned? 
What was his name? Do you remember? Yes, it was Jesus, wasn't it? Yes, he didn't have normal parents, did he? Because Jesus was God's son. And God is perfect. Therefore, Jesus wasn't born as a sinner, but he was born as perfect. Now, here's something special. If we trust in Jesus, then he switches place with us. So when he died on the cross, he took all the punishment that we deserve for our sin. And we get to take all the perfectness that he had. That's amazing, isn't it? So actually, Jesus is punished as a sinner and we get treated as if we are perfect. So let's hear our question one more time. What effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? And the answer is, all mankind is born in a state of sin and misery. But most of all, I want you to remember that if we trust in Jesus, we can have a hope that he will make us perfect once again.